good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy s20 plus uh, which uh, having exynos chipset and uh, i have flashed the pixel experience the o aosp rom on the galaxy s20 plus let me show the about phone of my mobile phone model number is g985f and uh, if i tap to android version 14 this is the android version 14 base rom android security update you can see that and build number is pixel experience for y2s y2s is the code name uh, for the galaxy s20 plus exynos those who have galaxy s20 plus model and they want to use this rom because this rom is much faster than the stock rom so you can give a try uh, and hopefully you will like this rom i found the rom so i thought make a video and uh, those who want to have uh, the fastest rom on the galaxy s20 plus they can use it and they can uh, share the experience later on in comment section i have provided all the things in my video description links that we have to download the files also provided in my video description and about uh, working and not working also provided in my video description so read the video description if you want to know about the things with the rom how to flash the rom you need to have an unlock bootloader of your of the mobile phone and uh, we will flash the recovery i will show how to download the files that are required to flash the rom on this mobile phone so you need to save all the internal storage data first of all because this uh, procedure will format everything you need to check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum and your mobile phone must be updated to stock latest uh, stock firmware like i mean to say the latest stock firmware you, the mobile phone must be updated to once in case if you are having any other custom rom doesn't matter but your mobile phone once updated to the latest stock rom now go to password and account and sync your google account once and then must remove it in case if you are having a uh, stock firmware then if you are having uh, samsung account also remove the samsung account otherwise the recovery will not get flash go to security then go to device unlock and uh, tap to screen lock and turn it off by selecting swipe if you have done all these things you can simply power off the mobile phone well i mentioned that your mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked we have to download the rom file so this is the pixel experience uh, rom file for the s20 plus uh, mobile phone click on this link and download it then download the recovery.img file also from here right this is my downloaded folder links are all provide, provided in my video description Odin 3.14.1 pixel experience rom and platform tools provided a link provided in video description recovery that i just uh, showed that how to download from the pixel experience site and the vpmeta.tar link provided click the link and download this vpmeta tar also I extract the Odin first then extract the platform tools the seven zip software must be installed on your windows if you are not having it then i will leave the link in the description you can download the seven zip software and download install it on your windows we have to convert this recovery.img to recovery.tar right click on it then if you have uh, seven zip software so you will see this window then uh, come down here and uh, click on add to our chief and on this window click on here then select tar you will see that recovery.tar and then come down here and click ok so the recovery file will get converted and it will make another file with the name of extension name uh, extension name of tar right copy the rom file from the downloaded folder and open the extracted folder of the platform tools then paste that rom file over here and rename the rom file just type rom press enter key done now go back and then uh, double click to open the ordin then double click to ordin file to open the ordin click ok on this window now click on ap first then go to the downloaded folder 
and select the recovery.tar by clicking on it then click open and then click cp on odin then go to downloaded folder and click vbmeta.tar click open so odin is ready to flash the files mobile phone must be power off we need to boot the mobile phone into odin mode so check the other side of the cable data cable must be connected with the computer press and hold the volume up key volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone a warning screen will appear and release both keys my mobile phone is having an already an unlock bootloader so i do not have to uh, re-unlock the bootloader if your mobile phone is having lock bootloader on this screen you can read that volume up long press for device unlock mode now i will uh, press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. The Odin mode screen must be like this. Uh, KG state must be checking. FRP lock must be off. OEM lock must be off in a brackets you will see U. The mobile phone got booted into Odin mode and connected already with the computer. On the Odin screen you will see COM4 or whatever COM you can see which means that the Odin detected the mobile phone. Because I have already installed the Samsung USB driver. In case if you are not having Samsung USB driver so this thing will not come up on the screen. Install the Samsung USB driver also on Windows. Now click on option on Odin and tick auto reboot. Go back to log then click start on the Odin. The recovery flashing will start it. Pass message means done. Then click reset and click exit and go back to downloaded folder. Then double click the platform tools the extracted folder and now coming back towards the mobile phone. Now mobile phone must be booted still into Odin mode. We have to boot the mobile phone into pixel recovery. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. All three keys at, one, at once. Now when mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. When logo appears, release the power key then. Just wait. Logo appears, release the power key. Now wait for a few seconds. One two three four now you can release the volume up key the mobile phone will now boot into pixel recovery here we go we got the pixel recovery uh, pixel recovery on the mobile phone screen at first tap factory reset then tap format data factory reset then format data done then format cache partition yes done then format system partition yes not done again format system partition yes this time it is done go back to main screen tap apply update tap apply from adb mobile phone got booted into or uh, into adb mode now on the computer screen right click on cmd i am already in my extracted platform tools folder right click on here and then left click on run as administrator click yes on next window then the black color command window will open now on the command window type the command adb space devices check the set is connected properly with the computer yes i can see list of devices attached this is my mobile phone serial number and mobile phone bought it boot it into side load mode now it is time to flash the pixel experience rom and this rom coming with the google application we do not have to install any gaps separately Click the uh, sorry, type the command adb space side load space rom.zib. Press enter key. The ROM file will start it transferring to the mobile phone, and at the same time, it is getting flash also. Now, just wait here. So, finally. The ROM got flashed perfectly. We can close the command window over here. And uh, we are done from the computer. And disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Now here you need to see that showing that install completed with status 0. Which means that flashing got done perfectly. If it shows not 0, it shows 1. Which means that flashing didn't went too well. Now simply tap reboot system now and the mobile phone will reboot then just wait here i have a samsung galaxy logo which is different 
from the uh, normal one because I flashed the One UI 6.1 ROM first. I have uploaded a video also. I will leave the link of that video in my descri description. You can watch that video. So finally, the uh, mobile phone start booting to the Pixel Experience ROM. Now it will take a little time. Just wait here. Uh, the first boot completed. Just uh, wait for two or three minutes on this screen and then you can complete the setup screen. So we got the ROM flash very smoothly and very perfectly. And uh, one more thing that do not expect more from the ported custom ROM and do not expect less from the ported custom ROM. Tab Invite 14. This is the same ROM. Invite version 14, Invite security update, BizBand, kernel version and the build number, Pixel Experience for Galaxy S20 Plus. ROM uh, was checked by me, calling is working, networking is working but few things are not working which are mentioned in my video description. You can read the description if you want to know about this ROM, right? Thank you so much. Do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel if you are not a subscriber yet. Click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all. Thank you. I appreciate that. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.